Hello everyone and welcome to the Introduction to Databases Assignment Overview video. In this assignment, we are going to take a deeper look at the databases that the library possesses. Because of the way databases are organized into records and fields, you have to search them in specific ways and you have to read the results in specific ways. Today we are going to focus on how do we read results and how do we find information for citations and other research needs. We'll talk about searching more in the upcoming videos. For today's assignment, you will be searching a different library database called Academic Search Complete. You must first select a topic from the list and then highlight it. The one highlighted here, Digital Divide, is the topic that I'll use in the demonstration videos. Then you need to locate and search Academic Search Complete. As with the previous databases, I will have a demonstration video that gives you an example, but I also have directions on how to do it listed here. You are going to select one result that's relevant to your topic, and you are going to view the item's record. The record is the complete information about the source, kind of like the driver's license. Then each individual piece of information is called a field. When you are gathering the details needed for citation, keep in mind that certain fields may contain more than one piece of citation information. For example, if you are looking for the periodical title, publication date, volume number, and issue number, all of those are listed in the same field. That field is labeled source. You are also going to evaluate the source for relevance using the subject terms and abstract fields. Relevance is just a fancy way of saying whether or not it discusses the topic you needed to discuss. Is it going to be useful to you? Subject terms are pieces of information that tell you kind of what the source is about. And the abstract gives you a summary of the entire article. We are also going to look for the full text. Not all articles in our databases are full text. Full text means that you have the ability to view the entire article. The full text may be in a PDF format, an HTML format, or some other type of format. So this question will introduce you on how to find the full text and give you a chance to look at the different formats. You will also use various tools from the tools menu. One of the benefits of using databases is because the information is organized, they can offer you some additional supporting tools. One of those is a tool that will give you a pre-made citation. Always note though, that the citations you get from databases may be slightly inaccurate. So you will want to double check it before you use it in your own work. You will also look at the permalink tool. Unlike a website where you just copy and paste the URL, databases use permalinks. If you don't use the permalink, then what you copy and paste from the URL bar will actually not take you back to the same source. So it's helpful to get into the habit of grabbing the permalink. And then you are going to list two other tools from that tools menu that might be useful to you. There are very many more than just citation and permalink. You can choose any two to list that you like. In part two, you are going to do the reflective question. In a comprehensive paragraph, compare the information available in the record to the information available in the full text of your article. That means we're comparing the information that's in that little snapshot of the record to the full article. That full text might be available to you as a PDF, an HTML, or some other format. Your paragraph should fully explain your reasoning and support your statements with evidence. That means that I have to be able to understand what your reason is, 
how you got to that conclusion, and then have some supporting detail that strengthens that conclusion. It must also discuss each of the following questions. How are the record and the full text related to one another? How would you use the record and the full text to determine the relevance of your source to your topic? In which situations would you use the record and in which situations would you use the full text? I hope that this video is helpful to you as you begin the assignment. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. We can discuss it in class, during my office hours, or through email.